So where's Bethel on this map? Uh, it's uh, here. This, there's the mouth of the Kuskokwim River this is right the, here. This is the Kuskokwim. Yeah. Call that up. In fact, uh, Bethel is a seaport of all things. It's oh. about 60 miles inland. Uh huh. But yeah. ocean going or fishing yeah, I mean, fleet? They bring uh, tugs all the way from Seattle. So this is the big Yukon River that comes all the way through, and it doesn't quite touch the Cuscoquim, then does it? And they go into the hmm. North Sound, Northern Sound up here. So from Bethel, where did you go out as far as all this area? Oh, when I flew out there? Oh, well, we covered, oh boy, let's see, all, all of this. All of this. Uh, I didn't go to Cape Newenham, that was a military station, you need permission to go in there. But Anyway, all this, let's see, Gillingham, I flew fish for Ball Brothers. The Ball uh, Brothers? Yeah, no out here, Clark's Point, and huh. mouth of the Quijack River, and off the beach, off the beaches. Then the beaches, the tide goes out so far, they land DC 60s and C46s yeah, right. and mm -hmm. is, that, is that on this beach here? No, I think they were out here at Eggskin. Oh, and I hauled fish off the beach there for a little while and that was really a lot of fun. They had a French chef out there with a mess tent. <laughs> we ate the best roast salmon and all kinds of stuff that you could imagine That's out cool. there. That, I'm looking at all these lakes. Are oh, these good fishing lakes? Well, here, I'll show you what they are. <laughs> okay, this lake here, the plans, <laughs> is this this one right here. That's Canyon Lake. Oh boy. Yeah. And I'm this here, remember I was telling you about hauling jet fuel? Yeah. That was in uh, Chikuminic Lake, I think. Let me see. Uh, this map doesn't have a lot it of detail. It doesn't have um, But it's one of the Tikchik Lake mm -hmm. chain. Um, Is that good it, fishing? In oh, there? yeah. Yeah, there's some uh, quite some large lake trout in here. You get uh, salmon up these rivers here, yeah, the Wood River. And then these are pictures here on the river at Bethel. That's nice looking Howard, isn't it, on floats? Yeah. The white? Yeah, <laughs> uh -huh. yeah I uh, painted those floats there up in Bethel uh, with Ace Hardware paint. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a few other pictures yeah. here. There's oh, that old wow. pilgrim. Oh, wow. pilgrim. Mm -hmm. Is that the one that's yeah, at the museum? Yeah, yeah, there's there's a pilgrim. I wasn't flying it then. Have you flown it though? Oh yeah, I flew You've it all winter. It? Oh my. When you're, oh my. Wow. And, uh, huh. and here's a picture out of Chifornik right here. Uh, near the close to the Bering Sea. Stopped and landed there and these Eskimo kids were out there and I said, you want your picture taken? And they said, yeah, and they all lined up. <laughs> there, so I took the picture, but this picture was made in in a dark room in the village of Queefluck. Um, it's not even on the map, but I think it's it's out here. Akiak is just up river from it, so Queefluck is out in here. And that was on a little tundra strip. Oh, here's, uh, here's the Bushmaster uh -huh. and the Pilgrim. Oh, and an cool. old 206 that <laughs> wow. came back from uh, Chifornik during a, a warm spell there. They, that thing was covered with mud. Landed the, the strip of Chifornik was just mud, tundra mud. <laughs> and he landed in that and just there mud clear up on the wings. And you couldn't even read the letters when he came, <laughs> came in. But anyway, he's washing the airplane out, out on the river. This is the Kuskokwim River right here. Frozen. Frozen. And JB was the chief pilot there, he's an Eskimo guy, expert pilot, he's flying the tri-motor then. We were hauling these mm -hmm. sticks here. Uh, the government had a big deal, of, or a big plan of uh, hauling the willow sticks out into some of these villages there, and they were going to put them up for winter trail markers. So, well, the people would have some sort of reference during snowstorms and things, because it does get pretty white out. Well, we delivered those sticks out to the bush and they cut them up for firewood. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's that a typical like... government project. <laughs> so. On the Yanoko River. Oh, here's me in that Whoa. Whoa. Cool here. shot. Wow. So, Is that the uh, one that's at the museum there in Anchorage yeah. now? Oh, no kidding. Yeah. 
And here's Whoa. the trimotor coming in for landing on the river. There, oh. after a warm spell, we had water on top of the ice. Ooh, we're looking a little. Old. You see all these pictures of airplanes that have fallen through the ice. And they, oh, yeah. There is still three feet of ice under that. Oh my! Under the airplane. But. Is the breakup a pretty big deal on the Yukon yeah. and the Cusco yeah. plane? It, oh, this is a picture of me down in the village of uh, Eek. Uh, I took this picture right through the windscreen of the 206 I was flying there. I was on the ground, and that's up at the Tulik Sack right here. Oh, there's another picture of me and the pilgrim. Oh, here's the story here. See these dents? <laughs> we had a terrible storm, and it actually blew the trimotor back. I don't know if it broke the ropes or what. Anyway, the trimotor backed into the pilgrim, and, mm -hmm. and the pedal oh. tube on the pilgrim went through this aileron on the trimotor, and the wing. Oh, I guess this wingtip brushed up over the cowling. <laughs> so that's where that dent came from, from the wingtip of the Bushmaster. Being blown by the 100-mile-an-hour yeah. gale yeah, out man, there. Yeah, there was a wind. Mm. Well, here's the, the Howard when uh, the company had it. And this picture is taken out of Night Mute, or Nick Mute. Okay, and then one last shot there. That's up on the uh, Moose Camp. There we go. On the Anoko River. That's us here pretty soon. <laughs> That's that big picture. And then this is a picture. We're just getting ready to go moose hunting up on the Anoko River. This is on the Cuscoquim River at Bethel. And there's, you can see some of the town of Bethel up here. That's me pumping fuel there. Wow, well, isn't that exciting? We're going to do a story on all this, Pat. Yeah. This airplane has interesting history. Oh, huh? yeah. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs>